Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are having a wonderful day. Um, today is all about this speaker stand. This one is made by Sanus. I've been searching new speaker stands for this Wafter Evo 4.2 speakers. I have uh, two different stands. One that made by Bars and Wilkins and the one that I made myself. So both of them are okay, but I want a bit shorter. So particularly I want a 22 inch of the height to the bottom of the speaker. So the stand itself got to be 22 inch maximum to utilize this Evo 4.2. Uh, positioning for best possible sound reproduction. The top plate is bigger than the one I have with this Bowers and Wilkin uh, Steph 24 inch stand. So as you can see, it's about half inch bigger all around. That's the another reason I like this one. I'm very happy with this stand. It works really well with the Evo 4.2 as well, but I prefer to have uh, minimal interference. So that's the reason I choose this one because this speaker stand may be the only affordable speaker stand that designed in any court chamber. Please don't get fooled by the uh, you know very reasonable selling price of these stands. This is the uh, bottom plate. So I got two bottom plates here and two top plates. So these are the two legs that are going to attach to the stand. So each stand use two legs like this. So it's really good for acoustical uh, benefits. And only downside I can think of it is that the whole to fill the sand or anything that you might want to fill is a little tiny. So that's the only thing that I got to be patient. These are the accessories that come with the uh, stands, many accessories. I'm going to assemble it and show you how it goes. For the tools, all you need is this uh, screwdriver. Start with the bottom plate. Find uh, which leg goes to which corner. The slot are different on each corner so this one should go on this side like this and this one should go on this opposite end and this one should be like this there you go and then this one goes on like this if the legs go in like this you get very stable platform. It will move around, it won't be uneven. Then what you want to do is, once you figure which one goes to which corner, all you have to do is put the screws on. For that, you need this 5-8 uh, uh, bent head bolts. Attach them. So uh, next thing you need is this washer. And this has the same curve as the bottom plate. So you just put it on like this. And that's it. So I'm just going to put the bolts on. For that you need this one and a half inch pan head bolts. So the, this is for two bottom plates. So basically... So I already stick the vibration control pad underneath the top plate. So I'm just going to mount it like this. You can mount however you like because this one doesn't have front or back. Only thing when you mount it, you just need to squeeze the uh, two uprights uh, together to make sure the screws are, screw holes are aligned properly. That's it, very simple and straightforward. 
and I saw some people complaining about this one not being level you know the meta plate never warped usually other than manufacturer defect so usually most of the case they don't properly uh, choose the uh, the leg at the bottom plate I think that's the only the problem so I just mounted a speaker mounting spikes on the nut so I can mount it from here like this so I'm gonna be using Allen key for that so I'm just gonna mount it like this from the bottom find the height that you want and then uh, tighten the nut underneath the locking nut and then uh, after you got the right position the tighten with the Allen wrench so you all set I'm gonna do the same here so it's time to put the spikes on for the bottom the floor spikes so put you want to put the machine nut on the spikes first so I thread it all the way you know to the end because you know later we can adjust the uh, high low position so if you only put the spikes itself it's not gonna be as stable that you might want so it's always good to have this kind of a, a locking nut together so that way it's very solid I wish they made uh, you know millimeter threads metrics are thread so that finer and much more precision now this is set most important thing is these plastic uh, corner spike uh, the plastic feeds for each corner please make sure you get them at the right position otherwise it may not be even this is how I look I'm going to mount my Evo 4.2 on this so it's gonna be very pointy and it's gonna make a little holes on the bottom of your speakers if you don't mind that you can use it this is good for maximum performance with these kind of stands so that's top and bottom of Sanus SF22 this is the top plate this is how I look after finish assembling uh, the reason I choose this one is I want to bring the height of the speaker down so it's all I want is like a three four inches down compared to this stand or the other stand that I have this uh, Sanus SF22 with Wafter Evo 4.2 is exactly three and a half inches shorter than with the uh, Powers and Wilkins uh, Staff 24 stands this one sits a little bit too high so if I bring this down I get the uh, best soundscape and sound stage with really good stereo image compared to that taller stand in my room from my sitting position I really like the way it's turned out Evo 4.2 work the best with the uh, 22 inch stands for average uh, sitting position so overall quality of the stands is every bit is comparable this uh, base plate is even about like three four inches wider to the back two inches wider to the sides the spikes the way it uh, set up this one is probably more advanced design compared to step 24 the stability is about the same the the taller stand may be a little bit more or wobbly so the shorter stand makes it more solid so I filled all these poles with the hobby sands so these are a bit heavier than you know the hollow pipes this is um, very impressive uh, quality for the uh, price of $140 I can highly recommend you to try this one if you have a uh, Evo 4.2 or tall bookshelf speakers this will give you 
probably the best soundscape and soundstage with really good stereo image. This could be the uh, most advanced design speaker stand that you can buy for your money. The speaker stands make different in sound quality. You know, even I was using this 24 inch stands with the, uh, my other uh, 24 inch stand that I made. So this one, I, when I use with this one, this one provide cleaner bass performance and tighter compared to my DIY stand. My DIY stand is even uh, a bit mellower in the sound. So when I switch to this Sanus 22 inch stand, the mid-range clarity improved and then a bass performance is a little less than this one, but it's a little bit more clearer in my uh, listening section so probably that's due to the uh, minimal interference with the acoustic waves probably that's the only reason that i can think of another thing is the sitting lower meaning i'm getting direct energy from mid-range directly to my ears when i sit in there so that that could be the another reason and then uh, image shift is less noticeable compared to this uh, higher speaker stands. Vertical dispersion is really good. I can stand up, I can walk around. The stereo image is still very uh, engaging and it's changed a little bit, but not as noticeable as with the other stands. As you will see in my sound demonstration, I'm not towing in at all, I'm just just put it straight towards my listening position. So overall this den, I mean highly recommend it. I can't recommend enough for this kind of affordable high quality stands when you want to use with this kind of tall bookshelf speakers. And then I changed my system a little bit. I, you know, pull out my old uh, rack. With this, I don't need to have a fan on the top of the amplifier because completely open space so that's it my friends uh, thank you for watching happy listening
Oh 
it cleans the load But you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth The minor four and the major lead Strong, but you need a proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. The beauty and the moonlight over the moon. She tied you to her kitchen chair. She broke your throat and she cut your hair. And from your lips, she drew. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.